Hey guys, welcome back to Easel Does It Studio. My name is Michelle, and if you saw yesterday's video, then you saw when I made these. So I was down here and I was trimming them up and cleaning, and I'm like, well, you know what? I might as well make a video because I've I've had a few people ask how I finished my pieces. So I figured I would show you. And because I used the liquid pearls, I was like, you know what? We would be we should be able to do something on these. So I am going to let's see. Let's pick one and I'm going to get a, a pin here. And all right, so I'm just going to leave that there. And let's see. All right, so that's coming out good. This stuff doesn't take long to dry. I did find a link for it on Amazon, so that will be in the description box. And they, I picked the one, the the set that I have, but they have a lot of different ones. They have metallics. I was like, oh, they have got a ton of different ones. So, um. I am just going to try to eyeball and not get my head in the way here. And I'm going to do this first so it will have time to um, dry. All right, let me get a Q-tip and... Uh, And that way we can let these dry while I'm doing the other ones. Now, I don't know if this is going to look good or not, guys. I'm just trying it. And sometimes they get like a little piece that sticks up. Sometimes you get a little pocket of air and it does like that one did. Yeah, I don't know if I like it or not, but we're going to just leave it to dry and we'll see what it looks like when we finish. All right, so I do have some different rhinestones out and I am going to start with this one and I just want to see if... 
that one's gonna mm. that one's not gonna really show up let's try some clear ones Let me grab my tweezers just so I can oh, kind of see what they're going to look like. Really? <sighs> All right. I think these are going to... Those are gonna work. All right, so I have got the Eileen's Liquid Fusion. That's what I use for my rhinestones. So I am just going to, um, let's see. And I'm just trying to decide where I want to put them. All right. And I'm going to do a few, a few small ones. So I'm going to only do a couple with you just to, so you can kind of see different options that you have if you you know want to dress something up and this is just a wax pencil gonna leave that laying down and we have a big one on the outsides and a baby one in the middle Oh, that's pretty and I'll do three there and three there and that's we'll call this one done and then I will let that dry and then we will coat it with some UV resin So then we'll, we're gonna let that dry. Actually, I'm gonna pop it under my light. And that should, oh, crap. Uh, 
let me, I just, I went to test it to see if it was dry and I stuck my finger right in it. little brushy things. put a new dot and then I'm going to stick it under my curing light just the warmth of it will help dry it all right so let's do some just want to so basically I you know I'll like try to dry fit what I'm doing and that way I know okay these ones are going to be too big or they're going to be too small so I'm thinking with this one we're going to just use the, the smaller ones I'm going to stick with the clear because I think they'll show up much better. smaller ones and try the the real little ones yeah those are gonna work better so I'm just gonna put some glue in the center of the heart And then we're just going to start placing our little baby rhinestones. And you can just get a bunch in place and then move them around. You've got a little bit of time with this Eileen's. Um, lip, no, this is the liquid fusion. Sorry. I get confused. Yeah. 
So we did that. We can also you can also take your fine marker, whatever color you want, and I am just following the little indention. And that just really makes it stand out. So I'm just gonna do the little scroll pieces. And that way it just, it gives something to a pop of color without taking away from the beauty of the, the piece. It just kind of like accents it. And I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm gonna do the, the little hearts at the top. I don't think I'm gonna do all of it. I'm just going to pick like a few areas. And I think that is all I'm going to do on this piece. I want it to stand out, but I didn't want, I don't want to take away from the piece. All right, so we're gonna let that dry. And so let me, let me do one so that I can kind of show you um, just want these to kind of dry a little bit first. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to get my gold. Um, let's got my gold marker and I'm just going to cuz I'll use gold key rings on this one so I'm just I'm just going to color in these little indentions get it to flow out. I don't use this pen much, so. It's flowing good. And there we go. So I'll give that a minute to dry. 
and put it under the light. All right, so those ones are looking, they're feeling dry. So we are going to, I'm gonna get my UV resin and <coughs> my pokey stuff. <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna move these all on the top for right now, because you don't want your light on when you're doing this part here. Um, and I'm, I'm still new at doing this, so um, I don't know. if I want to fill it all in or not. So I'm going to, I'm going to take a different one. I'm just going to coat. I'm going to give this one a top coat. We'll just leave this one plain. And we're just going to run this and this is just my hard tight I do have the uh, the high viscosity but I'm not using that one today so this is just going to give it a really nice top coat and a shine. The back's domed really well on most of them. I think there's one that I'm going to have to back coat, but I'm, I can't remember which one it is. It might even be this one. Um, and I will put my a glove on to move these. I mean, normally I would just do it on the the plastic, the acrylic tray that comes with my piece, but I forgot to pull it out. And I've got a few bubbles. All right, so that looks good. I am going to take a long light the lighter and just. kind of go over it and I see a little area here that is not to the edge Love. <coughs> and we will just set that under the light and we'll let that cure. All right, so, and then we're gonna do the same thing to this one, but I'm gonna turn my light so that it's not shining towards what I'm working on. And I'm going to cover the stones and everything. And that way, you don't have to worry about the stones falling off. And and it locks that paint in so you're not going to have any issues of anything falling off your keychain. All 
I was afraid I put too much. I'm like, no, no, I don't want it over. Look how pretty that, I mean, that really brings those colors right out. So I have got an art walk coming up on Friday. Today is Wednesday that I'm filming this. And I have a show on Sunday. So I wanted to make sure that I got some of these done. Because I think, I think these will be a good a good seller. And then these are my last, well, I might have an art walk in October, depending on if it rains or not. But after that, I'm, I'm done with my events for this year, unless I decide to pick something else up. I don't know. All right, I just wanted to make sure that all those <coughs> stones were covered. And this way here, you see all the detail, but you have a nice smooth top coat. I'm trying to make this so it's not a really long video because I know yesterday's video was really long. But it was an action-packed one. It had a lot in it. So, And because I didn't want to make that one longer, I figured you know I would show you some of my process in finishing these. And I just want to make sure that it's right to the edges. Because sometimes you think it's to the edge and it's not. And then you can see it when it cures. Let's just pop any surface bubbles. And I see a bubble right there. All right. So we're going to pop that in. And then we have this one. That is all nice and cured. And this one does need a back coat. So I'm just going to oh, hang on here. I don't want that going down because then the rest of my resin will go down. It doesn't need a lot. It's just it has a it had a divot in one area so I'm just trying to make sure that it's you know even across the back of it and this these sides are pretty full but I just want a little bit of a a top coat And this way here, this one will be all ready. And then I can put them together and show you and then I'll just finish the rest off camera. 
but this way here, if anybody had any questions, or if you do have any questions even after seeing this, don't, don't hesitate to reach out. You can either put it in the comments, you can email me. I have my email in there um, in the description box. And I also have my website where I'm starting to um, add some of my finished pieces on there. So yeah, and that's all in the description box. All right, pop any bubbles. I'm not seeing any, but, all right, let's pop that in there. And while that is curing, I am going to take my glove off. <coughs> all right, so which one do we have? So, uh, we're gonna do We'll do a gold one and a um, well, we might have to just do gold because I don't have any huge jump rings for in gold, which kind of stinks. Um, I don't know if these are the same size or not. Yeah, they are. Okay. So I'll just, I'll just work out of one container. All right. So we're going to put the gold back and we're going to do two silver. And let's see, we have a two different purple-ish colors. So we'll do... What other color goes with? Um, we could do a green, I guess. And do some little cookies. All right. So while those are finishing up, I am just going to get those ready, and I hope they fit through there. Sometimes these thick ones don't, so I cut my finger today when I was taking my stuff out of the mold. <laughs> All right, so this one is done. Uh. Oh, hang on. Forgot to put my thing ding on. smaller one and put a little tassel so you could put charms or you know anything else at this point but sometimes less is is more, you know, less is better. And then we will just put this through the little loopy. So if they want to hang it off something. 
did that. And now we have our keychain all made. And that's the back. So that's one. And look at how pretty that is. And this one was already domed on the back, so I'm not going to worry about that. All right, so this was the one I'm I'm a little more nervous about on these because these are a, a little bit thicker. Oh, but no, they work good. I don't know why I keep losing my thingy-ding. So I guess today's word of the day is going to be thingy-ding. And again, I forgot to put this on. We're going to do a green tassel. So you can put this at any height that you want. I just, I do them varied. I don't count holes. I don't do anything like that. And then here we have our other keychain all done. So yeah. So I will get these finished up and I will get you some pictures of them all when they're all done. Alrighty guys, have a great day. Bye.